First off, Chattanooga's COVID-19 website suggests that Hamilton County is experiencing uncontrolled community spread of the virus, putting Hamilton County back in the high risk red zone. There's been some confusion about the changing risk level. So let's go live to Channel 3's Jake Chapman, downtown Chattanooga, to explain what the COVID risk level data really means. Jake. Well, David, you kind of get you took my words out of my mouth. Like you said, many people are confused about how these levels change. So we wanted to know what these COVID levels are, where the data comes from, and how often it's updated. Now, city officials say they update these sites daily to inform the public during this pandemic. If we can make it easier to access, absolutely we'll want to make sure that it is updated in a timely manner. Rochelle Albright with the city of Chattanooga says the data for COVID-19 constantly goes up and down. Yesterday we were in the red zone and then yesterday afternoon, uh, once the new numbers were brought in, we moved down towards the orange zone, which in indicates that there is still an accelerated spread within our community. The county's COVID-19 website has this COVID risk level data. You can see the data keeps up with current cases, hospitalizations, and other trends in the area. We want to see those hospitalizations. We want to see those daily cases and all the different things that go into building out that number, building out those those assessment levels. We want to see a consistent downward trend. And right now it's just it, we're not seeing that. And based on our current level, it can be difficult to determine if and when it's safe for some public buildings like the YFD Center to reopen. You've got to think about the amount of people going in and out of the buildings um, and then what they're doing, the different activities, whether it's basketball or in close quarters of, you know, studying or, or different sort of tutoring groups. Ray Bond with the COVID task force says it can be a difficult task to constantly update that information. We have limited resources and we're all trying to pull data and do things in a way that most of the data systems weren't really designed to be used. Which is why they encourage the public to practice safe and smart habits in order to stop the spread. But the biggest reminder here is wear your mask when you're in public. Don't don't be in large groups. Don't gather in large groups. Wash your hands and make sure you're socially distant when you are in crowded places. And David, as you mentioned, we went from the orange zone back to the red, which means we're at a high spread for COVID-19. And to break that down a little bit, the county is now averaging 27.8 cases per 100,000 people. You can find all this information at the city's COVID-19 website. But I'm live in downtown, Jake Chapman, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.